guys and welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on this video now if you're new welcome we do movie reviews here series reviews and monthly wrap-up tier list so if any of that sounds um, interesting to you consider hitting that subscribe button we're on the road to 500 subscribers today we're gonna be talking about season one of the handmaid's tell this is a hulu original uh, currently it does have four seasons uh, season one which is the one that we're gonna be talking about right now uh, came out in 2017 17. Um, now this is based off of a book of the same name. Now I did listen to the book because I am an Audible lover. Um, no, we are not sponsored by Audible, but I do love it. I remember listening to the book prior to the show starting because it sounded interesting and everything. So this is how long it's been, you guys, since I've 2017 is when I read the book, so or listened to the book, whatever. And I don't really remember it too well. I remember that I loved it. And I was like, oh my god, like this is like a fudged up world. Now this does star Elizabeth Moss, Yvonne Starhofsky. Yeah, no, I'm probably saying her name right. Joseph uh, Fitness, um, and Dow Max uh, Minkella, Alexis Bedell, Madeline Brewer, O.T. Fag Binglin, and uh, Samara Wiley. So based on the best-selling novel by Margaret Atwood, this series is set in Gilland, a society in what used to be part of the United States. Gilland is ruled by a fundamentalist a regimen that uh, treats women as property of the state and is faced with environmental disasters in a plummeting birth rate. In a desperate attempt to repopulate a devastated world, the few remaining fertile women are forced into sexual servitude. One of these women, um, Alfred, is determined to survive this terrifying world she lives in and find the daughter that was taken from her. So this series is definitely not for the faint of heart. Um, definitely, I would say, uh, advisor like an advisor warning or a trigger warning rather because there is rape involved here uh whether it is because it's the property or not but obviously these women are not trying to sleep with their commanders in this futuristic world that they're living in now um where i guess like you could say the um environment i don't know like pollution and your carbon footprint i don't know you guys basically where the world is like all kind of disastrous and all kind of unhealthy and make the women non-fertile because it's always our fault right it's not that the men could be unfertile no 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 how dare we blasphemy right i probably would have probably be hanged for saying that god forbid a man be non-fertile no 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 of course it's always our fault the world was dying because there was no children being born this new kind of society basically just overthrew and killed i mean literally like they got rid of the government there's no more united states you guys these people are running stuff now so they're also basing this whole handmaiden thing off of a biblical uh verse uh genesis 30 1 2 3 they would capture these women who were fertile and they would basically try to teach them the handmaid's way they're being broken down to to be submissive just like don't say nothing this is what your job is is to repopulate the world i don't remember a lot of the things so i'm wondering how close and relevant it is to the book and might just be one of those things that it's just the concept of it because a lot of the things that were happy i honestly didn't remember from it um plus i don't know if it was the whole book or if it's just part of the book from when season one ended off fred which means of fred because her commander is called fred literally like these women are stripped of everything like it apparently happened just so quickly um, the women were being let go from their jobs. They're like, you got 10 minutes to like leave, women's rights, they took away their money, like we couldn't own money, we couldn't own credit cards, literally like just took us back. So you tried to escape, they would try to kill you. It's a crazy, crazy world, you guys. I love the cinematography, it's very like gloomy because obviously we're not like cupcakes and everything, like we're living in dark times, you guys, like I mean, just imagine, like, ugh. So the color and the look of it, it's very like gloomy looking. One of the other main reasons I wanted to watch it is because it does get nominated for Golden Globes for Emmys. Elizabeth Moss um, and Dow have both been nominated one for these um, performances here. Elizabeth Moss is always getting nominated. I think she got nominated again for the past Golden Globes as well. And I know we just got our rights how many years ago? I mean, I know it's been like years, but still, it's just like to think that we just didn't have rights, couldn't own property, couldn't go to school. Couldn't do nothing prior. I mean, literally here in this world, women cannot read, cannot write. They can't do nothing because it's very much 
illegal to do any of that stuff. And at the end of the day, you could just see that these women are cattle. They're literally being taken from one house to another, you know? So if you happen to have a baby for this person, you know, after you have done your duty and, you know, they kind of were weaned off of you, you get taken to another house to go get raped by another family to try to give them a baby. We do get a lot of flashbacks, obviously, because we kind of see where some of these characters, well, where um, Alfred was, you know, before with her husband, with her daughter. This is like a worldwide situation that's happening. So yeah, again, if if you're not up for, for it, totally understand. It's not for the faint of heart, but it's a very interesting concept. Very, well, not interesting concept. It's a very fucked up concept, honestly, like, hmm. But the book is really, really good from what I remember, again, because it's been since, like, 2017. Uh, but I remember, like, I really, really, really liked it. So I was really, like, looking forward to it. But I feel like I like the book more. Like, when I s finished season one, I was just like, I don't... Huh. All right, you guys. If you've seen The Handmaid's Tale season one, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Have you read the book or listened to the book if you're a fellow Audible lover like myself? Let me know down below. What did you think about it? We'll get to season two at some point. I haven't started it yet. Uh, I am currently watching uh, Yellowstone, as I said in the last uh, review. So I'm kind of, I, I basically, I'm now invested in three shows. I got Money Highs, this one, and Yellowstone. So those are going to be the one. I'm going to just stop there as far as um, shows go. And once we finish those, we'll get to some new ones. But yeah, those are that's those are the series review that you're going to be getting within the next uh, few weeks and months. If you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Till next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.